This weekend, the California coast will see high tides about a foot and a half above normal. These king tides occur when the gravitational force of the moon and the sun are at their greatest, pulling our oceans to extremes. Of course, the effect is also seen in bays and estuaries. I'm standing on a bridge over Rose Creek, which flows into Mission Bay back there. The habitat along the shores is called salt marsh. And the impact on this environment will get the attention of certain people coming out here on Saturday morning to observe the king tides. Karen Zirk with Friends of Rose Creek says king tides give us our best look at the reality of rising sea levels. What the Coastal Commission is telling us is that the king tide is approximately what an average high tide will be by 2050. So, the king tides we see on Saturday will just be a normal high tide 25 years from now. What does that mean? Places like Mission Bay High, which is right over here, are going to be at high flood risk, especially if the high tide coincides with a lot of rain. They're going to be underwater. We have some nice birds around here. We have some coots, which have little white beaks and black heads. There's a widgeon right out there that sounds like a, like a dog squeaky toy a little bit when you hear him chattering. Savannah Stallings is the conservation advocate for the San Diego Bird Alliance. What she also sees here is wildlife habitat created by coastal salt marshes. Rising sea levels in the future will force those salt marshes to migrate inland but not if the built environment stands in their way. That can migrate over time as sea levels rise, then you know there will be marsh remaining as, as the water levels rise. But if you, know, you have lower marsh and mid marsh and then a parking lot, there's nowhere for the marsh to go and so it will disappear. Coastal cities are looking at ways for the man-made environment to retreat from the coast as oceans get higher. Stalling says we have to ask the same questions about the future of the natural environment. As this area is redeveloped, as the De Anza Natural Plan moves forward, the city needs to really think seriously about where the marsh will migrate over time so that you know it's not like an entirely bad thing and, and, the, and the habitat doesn't completely disappear because otherwise it, it will. On Saturday, the Friends of Rose Creek and the San Diego Bird Alliance will will host a gathering of volunteers who will take pictures of the king tide levels. The public is invited to come, and the information they gather will be shared with the California King Tides Project. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.